It is that time once again where we here at the Podcast Wrestling Society bring you another juicy list. But before we begin, if you want more great YouTube content, including weekly lists like this bad boy right here, then you should hit that subscribe button and notify button down below to stay in the know. And then go follow us on social media platforms. The handle is Pod Rest Society. And then you can join the society. I'm your loving leader, benevolent host, and Midwest monster, Troy Adams. And I today am joined by the Billy Gun to my road dog. He's Greg. What up, Greg? What up? At least you're not Buzzkill. Well, it's true. <laughs> There's always that. All right, br- br- bro. Well, we talked about this last week. We're going to do the list for the first time on a YouTube exclusive, and this is the top five wrestlers that you used to hate and now love, and the top five wrestlers you used to love and now hate. This is an interesting one, to say the least. And, I don't know, I had a little bit of a hard time filling this out. I don't know about you. Oh, one of them. Yeah, well, you know, in honor of our new list on uh format here on youtube first of all which one do you want to run down first used to love and now hate or used to hate now love Mm, hate now love okay let's go positive first and then dump on some people all right well (laughs) i will give you the first go and it is time for the list bro so what you got do you even list bro i do list bro (laughs) <laughs> uh, okay uh, number five I said Jeff Jarrett oh man so, you, you hated really him hate and him. now love him <laughs> yeah I think he's a good guy now yeah good guy but uh, man I don't know I just I have a love hate relationship with his in, in ring career I'll say that why it was the chosen one yeah if you want to see why I say that, by the way. Please refer to our podcast. <laughs> this was posted last week and this week. Now in the archives. Yes. Uh, next, I said The Miz. Man, I used to hate him. The Miz. Yeah, I feel the same way. He was such a freaking dork. and I mean, he's still a dork, but he's like a cool dork. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Well, he is a Browns fan. Anyways. Eat it. Um, you get off this video. <laughs> Next, I said, well, yeah, I mean, this one counts, but it comes from UFC. I said, uh, Ronda Rousey. I hated her in the UFC. Thought she was a <laughs> one-trick pony. Well, uh, she she kind of proved that she was when she got knocked the hell out, and then she came back, like, forever Twice. later. Yeah, she came back again and got knocked out again, so... Well, yeah, she's cool yep. in the WWE now. I, uh, I'm, I'm on the Rousey bus, or I don't know. No, no vehicle starts with R that I can think of right now. The Rousey mm. something. I don't know. Bandwagon. I'll just say that. Cool. Uh, <laughs> next, I said, uh, and I, I really hated this guy because he freaking stole my WrestleMania moment. I said Seth Rollins. How could you ever hate him? You and I marked the hell out of I just told you. Ah, so you hated him for like a short time? Oh, his whole heel run. Ah, man. That was one of my favorites. You mean you didn't enjoy when he would go, hey, hey, hey. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Who could forget he that? Mark out for that. <laughs> that was like the greatest fake uh, laugh ever. <laughs> and then number one, I said, John Cena. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, I don't know. My relationship with John Cena, that, that, that too, was an up and down and up and down thing. It's been all over the map. Oh, good grief. All right. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that was a pretty good uh, first top five list there. Mike Brotunda. Wow, okay. <laughs> pulled it out for that one. All right. Well, 
Wow. All right. Well, now let's hear my top five uh, in that category. Used to hate and now love. Number five, I actually said John Cena. I, I hated him at first when he first started the rap gimmick. I was like, ah, he sucks. And then I started to really like him when he turned face. And then I started to hate him. <laughs> and now I kind of like him again. So I'm all over the map with John. It's a thing. Yeah. Uh, number four, I said MVP. When he first debuted, I couldn't stand MVP. I you didn't he, like the Power Rangers look? What? No, I didn't. I thought he looked like a can of Bud Light for the longest time. Uh, and then, I mean, his entrance was kind of cool, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I, I didn't get it. I didn't like him. Then, you know, towards the end of his WWE run, I really started getting into it. But, uh, yeah. Number three, I said Ricochet. I didn't... Oh, that one surprises me. Yeah, I did not like him in the indies at all. I thought he was just, you know, some flippy high spot turd. And, uh, I mean, he is a flippy high spot guy, but, you know, he he is talented. And I just never really gave him a chance in the indies. But ever since he came to NXT, I've become a fan. Number two... I said, The Miz. I really started liking him after one of the worst WrestleManias of all time, and I'm talking about WrestleMania 27. You know, it's like, he started out as like that reality show guy. Yeah. And now he's like him. one of the hottest things in all wrestling. I know, it's weird. And I like, I think it, I want to say it was, um, man, I can't remember. It's one of the guys Conrad does podcast with, but one of them said if they were going to remake the uh, Four Horsemen with today's rosters, they would put the Miz in it. And Conrad was like, "Oh man, you're going to get hate tweets." <laughs> <laughs> but I would, I would totally pick him first ballot, maybe to lead the damn thing. But whatever, direct your hate tweets to at Pod Rest Society. All right, and my number one, it's more of two people. I said, the Young Bucks. Yeah. I, I knew you were going to have them on there. I did not like them. Same reason Wait, for Ricochet. Mark. Well, it was the same reason for Ricochet, you know, spot monkeys. But I've grown to respect them, and uh, I currently own one of their T-shirts, thank to, thanks to you. And I'm looking to get another one too. I want to get uh, I want to get their the Bullet Club one where the skull is wearing the bandana. Better hurry up and get it for the go to WWE. Not gonna happen. Well, let's... Got about a month and a half away. Yeah. Well, we need to start taking bets on that. All right. Well, that's uh, that's my part of uh, that list. Than Bros. <laughs> Got a comic book reference in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we now need to move on to the second part. It is the used to love and now hate. So I guess it's time to play the sounder again. It's time for the second list. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right. Who did you used to love and now hate? Greg. Well, I guess I can't say Nick and Median because I don't hate him, so Hell no. Let's let's get this list kicked off, Pep Bro Bismol. <laughs> All right, uh number five, I said Ryback. Oh man. I actually went the op well, I I don't know. I went hated, then loved, then loved and hated. <laughs> so I don't know. It went back I and just, forth. Just can't stand the things he says now online. I don't even pay attention to the crap he says. I just know he seems to be kind of full I, of himself. Yeah, I just see the headlines. I don't read it either, but yeah. Uh, number four, and this really isn't even his fault just because they dumb to say it, but Kane. God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the devil's favorite libertarian. <laughs> oh, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Number three. Uh, and this is like, I liked him when he was in the tag team, and I just, wow. <laughs> I said Scott Steiner. 
Oh, man. Big Papa pumps your hookup. Holler if you hear me. I was a kid, man. I was a Steiner Brothers mark, and then now look at Scott. I'll wow. never forget my dad, even though me and my whole family are big Buckeyes fans, he loved the Steiner Brothers, and he used to watch them live uh, when they were in WWF and because uh, he'd go to the matches at um, uh, Richfield Coliseum, not far from Cleveland, and he was a huge mark for them. And then when he saw the transformation of Big Papa Pump on Nitro, he was like, what the hell did he do to himself? <laughs> I was like, and at the time I was like seven, eight, I think it was eight. And, uh, I, I, I didn't really know much about the Steiner brothers, so I had no idea. But later on I found out and I'm like, my God. And then he would just say off the wall, crazy crap. Cross your T's uh, or, or cross your eyes and dot your T's. <laughs> <laughs> Roy's are a hell of a drug, man. Uh, <laughs> number two, I said Brock Lesnar. Oh man, yeah, the Beast Incarnate. I mean the the guy who comes out suplex, suplex, F five leaves, literally leaves. That should be um, his new T shirt. Arrive, <laughs> suplex, suplex, F five leave. Yeah, they can do with that. And then number one, I said CM Punk. Oh man, yeah. Unfortunate story about about Mr. Punk, if that is in fact his real name. Um, <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, I was. I'm still. I, I. I'm. I'm not really a mark for him anymore. I just because how can I be such a loser? Such a bitter SOP. <sighs> yeah. Man. I just, I can't believe that people still like worship preach. the ground he walks on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Act like he's a savior of wrestling or something like, my God, they lined up to get his autograph at a freaking t-shirt shop. And all right, let's uh, get to my list. Then pepper brony. <laughs> Uh, that was a dumb one, but whatever. Got it in. All right. Number oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And then you made it weird. <laughs> Number five. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. I actually had mine the opposite of yours. Number five, I said CM Punk. Uh, How dare we even have one on this list? <laughs> I mean, I dislike him, but I, I just like, I don't hate him. If he came back, I'd give him a chance. So I'll say that, but right now I'm not like really holding out hope. Like, oh man, he needs to come back and save wrestling. Like, yeah. Well, well you know, HCW's going to save wrestling. Yeah, and, th- and they'll bring in CM Punk. It'll yep. be great. I got to pay him billions, man. <laughs> Number four. This one's kind of an off the wall one that you definitely didn't have. I have two that you didn't have, the other three you did. Uh, Number four, I said Kenny King. Wow, I was that kind is of, a random ass one. I was kind of a, kind of a fan of his, especially during the All Night Express days. But after stories I've heard and just finding out stuff about him, I just uh, I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's in it for you know because. And don't get me wrong, I I'm a Kevin Nash mark, and he's not in it because he loves wrestling. I mean, he likes it, but he's in it for the money. Flat out says it. I can respect oh, it's that. It's a good thing he's got that Ring of Honor money then. <laughs> no, Kevin Nash. But Kenny Kenny King, oh. though. Um, I mean, yeah, he, he he he's in it because he likes the spotlight. And he likes getting paid to dance around and, you know, be a gigolo and whatever the hell else. I, I don't know. He's a dork. <laughs> number, number three, uh, I said... The devil's favorite libertarian, soon to be when he leaves office, he will be Citizen Kane. Oh my God, you said that! Still holding out hope, man. Like they're gonna bring him back, and then he's gonna move to the beach, and he's gonna be Malibu Kane. <laughs> I've got gimmicks for days. Maybe the worst thing, maybe the worst thing you ever said. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, it's Kane. Man, I just, he's so lame now. I'm not even kind of excited about his return. Not even kind of. <laughs> Like, I lost, don't get me wrong, I kind of wrote him off before this, but when he did the Santino trumpet on live TV, I was like, all right, I, yep. I, enough's enough. <sighs> yeah. Number two, I had him in the same place as you did. I said, Brock Lesnar. He, uh, man, I just, I'm not even kind of entertained by that a hole anymore. <laughs> He just I'm, sucks. I just like, dude, just go away. I know, and yet the Saudi prince wants, like, he clearly wants him, and they're throwing tons of money at him. Buckets of dollars. <sighs> there are a lot of zeros on the end of his check to Combine come Combine that with what he's going to make against Daniel Cormier. He's going to be set for, like, two lives. Oh, I know. It's just... Why? Why do they keep paying him money? I guarantee the return they're getting on him is not comparable. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, but my number one, and Ramon is going to love this, Joey Ryan. <laughs> wow. That was a mark for him back in TNA, man. You remember? I do. You and I both. And then I just, like, I don't hate him. I just, like... Hate's a strong word, but strongly dislike that dude. All right. Do you dislike him or do you dislike his penis? Uh, kind of both. And people, are, people hearing that might think question. It's a legit question. Like, if you don't know, this guy's entire like character is built literally around his penis. I know it sounds <laughs> weird, but it's that's that's what it is. My God, uh, that's a thing we just said. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah. But he, uh, he's lame. I don't know. I don't. I hate the gimmick. I just freaking hate it. I will admit, I LOL'd with the penis druids at All In and the crowd chanting "Rest in Penis." <laughs> Everything else was dumb. Did you see the plex, the penis plex live though. It's. It's uh, something, man. No, I'm sure it's something. <laughs> That's just uh, no. That's going to be a no from me, dog. I just, once he, I was totally in for the sleaze thing and all that, whatever. But when he started doing the penis plex, I just, nah, I, I got to tap out. You don't there. like it when he puts no. a lollipop down his crotch oh, and then pulls it out God. and puts it in his mouth. And that then is puts literally. That is that's the worst. That is the worst. He starts out the match by like putting baby oil all over his chest yeah. and then like empties it into his pants. <laughs> yeah. And he's got to take like long ass showers. That's got to be hard to get off. <laughs> oh, I bet it gets off. Oh my gosh. Just shut up. Enough about Joey Ryan and his male member. Which, by the way, you can catch him at his penis party before WrestleMania, apparently. Uh, Ramon is already 100% committed to going. Oh, I bet he's whole hog into this one. Got a penis <laughs> reference in. Uh, <laughs> people are going to hear this and be like, we're pervs. No, we're not pervs. This is a real thing. No, Joey Ryan is the perv. All right, we're just calling his ass out. <laughs> Joey Ryan, we're coming for you, brother. The problem, but we're coming for you and your penis brother wait that sounded wrong uh on so I many levels uh, all right well anyway that is the list bros and broettes uh if you haven't noticed yet we're also posting youtube exclusive bros uh kyle and i have given our predictions on super showdown coming up this weekend check that out i will also list what our predictions are on social media. The handles are at Pod Rest Society. And uh, next week, the list, b -b bro, is the top 10 betrayals in wrestling history. Like when Joey Ryan betrayed us all with his sleazy, sleazy penis. Got another one in. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think I mentioned this last week too, but I'm still, you know, Number one for me is going to be when Naked Midian betrayed us by putting clothes on. Uh, you know, it's got to be said. 
He betrayed the world, Greg. He betrayed us all. But anyway. How dare you wear clothes, you naked man. You son of a... All right. Well, anyway, thank you for listening with me today, bro. (laughs) Of course. And we will catch you all later. And definitely check out this week's episode of the Podcast Wrestling Society on whatever uh, podcast format you use. Later. Bro. Thanks for watching this YouTube exclusive video for the Podcast Wrestling Society. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're picking up what we're throwing down. And of course, we always welcome feedback in the comments section down below. And if you want to keep up with the weekly podcast that drops every Wednesday, links to the show page are in the description down below, along with our social media handles and our associates pages. Come on and join the society.